Welcome to Yankee Stadium. Well, in case you missed it, and I'm a little bit late getting there, Carlos Rodon and Lou Trevino are both going to begin the season on the IL. Carlos Rodon has a strain in his forearm. Apparently, he felt something while throwing a slider during one of these side sessions before his first start against Atlanta, and he actually got roughed up pretty badly in that start against Atlanta. Now, his velocity was down. It was 93-94, but Aaron Boone said that he's somebody who generally takes a while to get his velocity up anyway. That's the case with some pitchers. But Rodon just didn't look sharp. You figured something might be wrong, and it was. Now you look at the Yankees starting pitching, and you can see they don't have a lot of depth in the minor leagues if this turns into a more serious situation. They got kind of annihilated in that trade with Frankie Montas where they gave up J.P. Sears, Ken Waldachuk, and Luis Medina and essentially got back a broken pitcher, who it turned out was broken before the Yankees traded for him. Not sure how he passed the physical, but that trade should have never been made. And now the Yankees are going to be tested. Uh, Domingo Herman and Clark Schmidt probably both going to be in the rotation to begin the season. Now, Carlos Rodon apparently might return in April, according to Brian Cashman. I wouldn't count your chickens before they hatch. The Yankees have said this a number of times with a number of players that they'll be back on X date or at X time, and they end up having to reset expectations with fans. This is certainly not a devastating blow because he could only be out a couple of weeks, but if it's more serious than has been diagnosed, which sometimes is the case with Yankees pitchers and Yankees medical staff, unfortunately, Now, don't count out the possibility that there's a trade on the horizon for some pitching depth. The Yankees have talked internally about trading one of their infielders. Isaiah Kiner-Falefa remains an option. Also, Glaber Torres could be an option if the Yankees decide to go with the middle infield that includes both Anthony Volpe and Oswald Peraza. If you deal Glaber, you can probably get a little bit better of a pitcher back. But right now, it's all kind of up in the air. It's early in the season. But this is not a good sign that you're already having injuries. Nestor Cortez is a little bit behind. And look, the Yankees can't afford to have any more players go down with injury, especially out of that rotation, because the depth just isn't there. Uh, Let me know in the comments how you feel about this, and I'll see you when I see you. Hey, everybody. If you've made it this far, we thank you. If you'd like to support NYY Recaps, please like and subscribe or pay a visit to our Shopify store for some great Yankees merch. Yes. If you're watching on YouTube, the link is in the description. But if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast, just visit nyyrecaps.shop. If you really want to support NYY Recaps and help keep the show going year after year, join up as a member. Join us. It's five bucks and members get their names up in lights during each post-game show. We're also on all podcast platforms, Instagram, and Twitch this year. So give us a follow if you use any of those platforms. We're expanding, and we have you to thank for making this such a great community. We'll see you next time. It is your destiny. Case closed! Ball game over! Most impressive.